Hello and welcome to another Leak Code Solution video. This is problem number 30, substring with concatenation of all words. For this problem, we are given a string S and an array of strings words. All the strings of words are of the same length. A concatenated substring in S is a substring that contains all the strings of any permutation of words concatenated. For example, if words is A, B, C, D, E, F, then A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, E, F, C, D, C, D, A, B, E, F, C, D, E, F, A, B, E, F, A, B, C, D, and E, F, C, D, A, B are all concatenated strings. A, C, D, B, E, F is not a concatenated substring because it is not the concatenation of all permutation of words. Return the starting indices of all the concatenated substrings in S. You can return the answer in any order. For example, one, our S is bar foo, the foo bar man, and our words are foo and bar. So our output is 0 and 9 since words.length is 2 and words of i.length is 3. The concatenation substring has to be of length 6. So the substring starting at 0 is bar foo. It is the concatenation of bar and foo, which is a permutation of words. The substring starting at 9 is foo bar. It is the concatenation of foo and bar, which is a permutation of words. The output order does not matter, so returning 9, 0 is fine as well. For example, 2 S is word, good, 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 best word, and our words is word, good, best word, so our output is empty. And this is because words.length is 4, and words of i.length is 4 as well. The concatenated substring has to be of length 16. There is no substring of length 16 in S that is equal to the concatenation of all permutations of words. So we return an empty array. And for example, three, our input is bar foo foo bar the foo bar man, and our words is bar foo the, and our output is six nine twelve. And this is since words dot length is three and words of i dot length is three, the concatenated substring has to be of length nine. The substring starting at six is foo bar the. It is the concatenation of foo bar and the, which is a permutation of words. The substring starting at nine is bar the foo. It is the concatenation of bar, the, and foo, which is a permutation of words. And the substring starting at 12 is the foo bar. It is the concatenation of the, foo, and bar, which is a permutation of words. Let's go through an example. For this example, S is hello yellow, and our words is E-L and L-O. In this problem, we'll want to get a count of words to determine the number of occurrences of each string in words. So E-L shows up once, and L-O shows up once as well. So this would be our word count. We also want to get the length of our word. So our words.length would be two. We'll also want to get the length of each of the words in words so that we can determine the length we'll need for our substring. So we can just do that by checking our first word, which is EL, and the length of that is two. And then we'll also want our total length, which will be equal to the length of each word times the number of words we have. And that's equal to four. So what we're going to want to do is go through our S input and check to see if we have a substring that is in words. And we'll be able to use the word length to check if the next substring is also equal to a word in words. And we'll use a sliding window approach to check the current substring along with the next number of substrings we need to create a concatenated substring from the words in words. So we're going to iterate through s with a step of our word length which is two so we're going to iterate through every two and see if our current substring that we're looking at is in our word count and if it is we move on to the next substring seeing if that's in the word count and so on and we're going to do this for each starting index that has the possibility of containing all of the words so we'll be able to use our total length to determine that so starting from our first index, we have HE as our first starting string, which is not in our words. So we can move to the next. Next, we have EL, which is in our list of words, and it has an occurrence of one. So now we can step to our next substring, which in this case is LO. This is also in our words count. And since the length of our current concatenated substring is four, which is equal to our total length, we know that this is a valid concatenated substring. So what we're going to want to do is add our index to our output result, which is one. So since we had a valid concatenated substring, we can move our index up one word length. So now our starting index is LL. So we can check 
our current substring, hello, it is in our words. So now we'll want to check our next substring. Our next substring is ye. This is not in words, so we know we have an invalid concatenated substring here. And since we have an invalid concatenated substring, we can stop there and move on to our next index. So now we have oy as our current substring. This is not in words, so we can move on. Now we have ye, not in our current words, we'll move on again. Now we have el. El is in our words, so we'll check our next substring. Our next substring is lo. This is also in words. And our current concatenated substring length is 4, which is equal to our total length. So we know we have a valid concatenated substring. So we can add our index to our result. And now we'll move on to the next index. Our substring is now LL. This is not in words. And since there are only three characters left in our string, we can stop there since 3 is less than our total length of 4. So we know that there can't possibly be another concatenated substring. And so at this point, we would just output a result of one and six. Let's jump into the code. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is check to see if our string or our list of words are empty. And if they are, we can just return an empty array. Next, we'll wanna determine the length of each word in the list. And we can do that by creating a word length variable and setting it equal to the length of our first word in words. And we'll want to calculate our total length which will be equal to our length of words times our word length. And finally, we'll wanna initialize our result and our word count. Our result list will be used to store our starting indices of the valid substrings and our word count will count the occurrences of each word in the word list. Next, we we'll wanna loop through our word list and add each word to our word count. If this is the first time we've seen the word, we'll set our word count equal to one for that word. Otherwise, we'll increment the word count by one. Next, we'll wanna iterate through all possible starting indices of a valid substring. And at the start of this for loop, we will want to initialize our left, our sub count, and our count variables. Our left variable will set the left pointer for the current starting index. Our subcount variable will be used to count occurrences of words in the current substring. And our count variable will be the total count of valid words in our current substring. Next, we'll wanna iterate through the string with a step of word length. And at this point, we'll want to extract the current word from our string. And we'll do that by getting the substring of s from the index j to j plus word length. And with subword, we'll want to check our subcount to see if we've seen this word before. If we have not, we'll set our subword count to 1. Otherwise, we'll increment it by 1. And we only want to check if our subword is in our subcount if our subword is a word that is in our word count. So before we do these checks, we just want to check to see if our subword is in our word count. And that pretty much just checks to see if our current subword is one of the words we were given at the beginning of the problem. And since at this point our subword is a valid word we were given, we want to increment our counter by one. At this point, we want to handle a specific case where the current substring has an extra occurrence of the word. And we can do this by moving our left pointer until it becomes valid. And in this loop, we're pretty much going to be just incrementing our left pointer by word count and removing whatever current subword we're seeing in S from our sub count. And we'll do that by decrementing our sub count of the current word by one, decreasing our counter by one, and increasing our left pointer by our word length. Now we'll check to see if all of our words are present in our current substring we're looking at. And if it is, we'll add it to our result. And we'll do this by checking to see if our count is equal to the length of our words. And now we'll just need to handle the other case of when our subword is not in our word count. And for this case, we're pretty much just resetting all our counts. We're gonna clear out our sub counter, set our count equal to zero, and set our left point equal to our j plus our word length. And at this point, we're done with our looping and we can just return our result. 
that's it for the code, so let's run this. All test case passed, so let's submit. Our solution was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.